Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, we are going to create saving benefit plan using quick create plan option. So in this task, we are going to perform these sub task uh, in our today's session. So let's just move on to the application and let's just see how we can perform this task. Okay, so you have to log in as an implementation user here and then go to the benefit administration and then plan configuration option. Here we are going to create plans. So just click on the plan sub tab under the program and plan tab. And then you have to change the effective start date here. And then just click on the search option. Otherwise, the date will not change. If you just change the effective date and click on the quick create plan option. So you have to first change the effective start date, then click on the search. And after that, click on the quick create plan option. Here you can see there is a various types of plan created here, which are uh, some of the uses in a program or some of the not in a program. Okay, so today we are going to create not in a program plan. So I just click on the quick create plan option here. Here you have to fill the name. And I'm going to use the not in a program option. And for changes applicable here, when you use plan and not program. So uh, when you use not in a program, so you can see the period and frequency is appeared here. And if you uh, select in a program option, so it's removed from this page. Okay. And also if you uh, see there is a, uh, this option is disabled right now when we select not in a program, so this option is enabled. Okay, so I just deselect the contain option here and then just click on the enable unrestricted enrollment and allow beneficiaries. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to attach the plan type with this plan. So we are creating saving plan. So it's plan type is saving. Then we have to add the ray, uh, ray, uh, legal entity for the rate. And after that, we have to define the plan year period here. So I'm going to create five year plan. So we have to select from 2022 to 2027. Okay, now we have to define the period and frequency. So rate frequency will be monthly. And the communicated enrollment rate frequency is a per pay period. Here, under the participant eligibility profile, you can add your eligibility profile, uh, which you created under the eligibility. You can add your benefit group. You can add your um, drive factor. Okay. So here, uh, you can add the eligibility profile, which you add with your eligibility um, profile like you created a drive factor or you associated with the eligibility eligibility profile so you can see here uh, those and then you can define your eligibility profile here So how you can create drive factor and associate those with the eligibility profile, you can see my previous video for uh, that task. And here I'm going to add the benefit group. So this is the benefit I'm going to add with this plan. Okay. And then what we have to do, um, we have to just go to the save option. Just click on it and what causes the processing. Now we have to wait and then we have uh, we move on to the summary page of this plan. And then we perform our subtask. Now 
now it's completed just click on OK and this is the summary page of our plan and you can see here this is uh, that is now a uh, it's a status is pending right now so at last when we perform all the subtext subtask for this uh, plan uh, we activate our plan okay now what we have to do just click on this and then go to the eligibility option here because we have to set the unrestricted eligibility for this plan and then under the uh, further details you have to see the participation option here so what you have to do just click on the action and then correct and here uh, under the start date you have to select the as of event date and for the previous end date we select the uh, one day before event and now i'm going to click on the save option the next we have to uh, go to the add beneficiaries for this so uh, what we have to do click on the allowable dependent or beneficiary designees option here and add the um, beneficiaries for this plan okay here just click on the create option then select the group relationship family and here select the designation type as a beneficiary because we are adding the beneficiaries here then select the relation type here so first we have to select the child then add another row and select the adopted child then another uh, then add one more row and here select the Mm, stepchild and add one more row and select the one more family member okay and now just click on the okay and next what we have to do uh, we have to add the life events for uh, this plan and first we have to click on the save option so here we successfully add the beneficiary for this plan now we have to move on to the live events just click on the add live events and here select the unrestricted option just click on the ok Now what we have to do just click on the save option and then move on to our next subtask which is a configured enrollment. Just wait for a few minutes. Okay. Now we have to click on the enrollment. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to just go to the journal tab and go to the action and correct option here. So select the enrollment method, uh, the exp explicit and default enrollment rules like the new uh, default current default option here and then just click on the save option. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to configure the designation requirement here. This is the last task. After that, we just activate our plan. So what we have to do, uh, we have to just 
click on the beneficiary option sub tab here you can see that and then uh, here we have to add under the requirement sub tab uh, we have to add to the designate beneficiary here but it is already associated with it okay if it is not associated with it so we have to add this like we have to just click on the select and add option and select from the designate beneficiary here and select the due date um, as a 30 days after life event okay so right now it's already added here so we move our next task uh, which is a um, Okay, so here is not added the due date. So we have to just select this and click on the edit and correct. And here add the 30 days after life event and just click on OK. And also add the required. So required is already associated with this action item. Okay, now so what we have to do next, we have to click on the save. And after clicking on the save, just click on the restriction option here. And uh, here, what we have to do, just click on the action and correct option. And here, select the allow designation of organization as a beneficiary and allow contingent beneficiary here. Okay. And then just click on the save option. Okay, then what we have to do, we have to move on to the basic detail page here and then go to the action item and click on the correct. And here you can see the status right now it's pending. We have to click on the active, set this status from pending to active and then just click on the save and close option. So this is how we can create our plan. And this is uh, some subtasks we have to perform when we create the plan. This is a whole life cycle. Um, what is the eligibility and what are the enrollment information and what are the designation requirements? So this is how we can create the plan and define some subtasks under that. So I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.